Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own, and today we are going to replace the intermediate shaft on my 1994 Chevy C1500 and see if we can improve the sloppy steering that these trucks suffer from. The intermediate shaft is also known as the steering shaft. Maybe we will just call it the steering intermediate shaft, and here it is. It's located right here. Okay, this goes right into your steering column here. This is the intermediate shaft. And then if you come down here, you follow that shaft, it goes right down to the, to the steering box. And so really, there's only a couple of uh, bolts to get this thing loose. Whichever you prefer to call it, intermediate shaft, steering shaft, let's just hope replacing this will fix my sloppy, loose steering issues that I've had since day one. Okay, so here is the steering intermediate shaft I purchased. It's the Borgeson. I think it's I pronouncing it correctly. Borgeson. I guess it's the part number 000936. Uh, it's their steering shaft. Uh, I paid $220 for this on Amazon, and it's supposed to fit a 1992 to 1994 full-size Chevy and GMC trucks. This is a heavy-duty uh, telescopic steel steering shaft. Connects from factory column to steering box. I already showed you that. It includes a complete rag joint. This is the rag joint right there. All right. And billet steel universal joint, which would be right there. They say, and this is made in the, 19, in the USA since 1914. So I was originally going to get the part from LMC Truck. They wanted $299 for just this part but it didn't even come with the rag joint. So for me, I normally like LMC uh, truck for my parts, but in this case, it was a no brainer. I was gonna go with something different. I don't think, I think this, it says it's gonna be a direct bolt on. I don't think it's gonna be any issues. I've got the factory manual on how you actually do this procedure. So we're gonna follow this by the procedure and uh, change this out and get rid of this sloppy steering. I've had it since the day I bought this truck and I just can't take it anymore. I'm really hoping that, that this is going to uh, cure the truck of that because you can see how this stuff would just get fatigued. It's rubber, it's a vibration damper really at the end of the day. And yeah, it's gonna get tired and this one is probably original and if it is, it's certainly tired. So we've got the book here on how to uh, in, uh, replace the intermediate shaft. It says the first thing you want to do is set the front wheels in a straight ahead position and the steering wheel in the locked position. Yeah, check, we got that. Then it says down here that you should mark the intermediate shaft pot joint yoke to steering shaft and the rag joint yoke to the steering gear input shaft relationship so you can be sure of proper installation. I'm not exactly sure of that. I've looked at some videos on YouTube, so I'm gonna kinda wing that. I think we're gonna be okay though. So from there, the next thing to do, honestly, is to remove this cover shield. This cover shield is really easy. It's just this little tab. See that little tab right there? There's just a little tab. And then actually we can see the bolt for the, uh, for the uh, bottom of this intermediate shaft right here. And then the top side one, is just right there so it's pretty straightforward okay so now that we have that shield part removed now we just need to remove this bolt here up at the top side and then we need to remove number 15 here this bolt that uh, bolts right to the brag joint to the steering gear input shaft so we're gonna do those two things and then take this thing out okay so I've removed the nut and bolt from the top side of this intermediate shaft uh, that ended up being a 16 millimeter uh, bolt here. I actually have taken it off. That ended up being a 16 millimeter bolt and it kind of locks on the back side so you don't really have to worry about that until it starts to get loose. I don't know if this has been out before because it's got some Loctite on that. I don't know if that's from the factory or not but looking at this intermediate shaft it looks pretty fatigued. Now something that's a little bit concerning something that's a little concerning uh, is this intermediate shaft it goes all the way through. Obviously this went all the way through well, this new intermediate shaft that I got from Borgensen, it doesn't go all the way through. So it does say it's for a 92 to 94, uh, it even says it on the side, 92 to 94 full size Chevy and GMC. I mean, it even says it on here. So I guess it's just a different design. Uh, we'll see how it goes uh, when we get to that stage. But right now, right now I need to take off the bottom the bottom nut here which is this one right there so we need to get that one off and then this wiggled down pretty easy 
So I'm gonna. Well, I'm not gonna assume that this this is gonna wiggle off pretty easy. Most guys said they ended up having to give this a little bit of pry off, and you probably have to do it right in between this spacing here. But we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off, and then I'll tell you how easy and hard or hard it was, and what I needed to do to make it happen. Okay, so the steering shaft, the intermediate shaft, whatever you want to call it, it's out of the truck. This uh, this bolt down here that was at the bottom, this is 11 millimeter. So the one that was at the top was 16. This one down here was 11 millimeter. And actually mine, it wiggled right out. It, I didn't have to work very hard. I mean, I just kind of gave it a little upward pull while I was wiggling a little bit and it came right out. Okay, so we can see the two steering intermediate shafts right next to each other. We can see this this aftermarket one from Borgensen, it looks a lot more substantial. Uh, I'll definitely give them that. The rag joint's certainly a lot bigger than this rag joint. This rag joint is tiny. It looks, it looks horrible, actually. I don't know if it's original or not, but it's it's definitely fatigued. It's definitely fatigued in here, and so hopefully this is going to cure not only cure my steering problems, but this is going to actually fit right as well because. It's not exactly the exact same fitment as the original equipment piece. Okay, so since this thing's universal, I don't think there's any one-way guide or anything we need to worry about. There's these little backing screws in here that I need to back out so I can slide, slide this over the top side. And then the rag joint also has one like that. So I need to back that out. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna put the bottoms, I want to put the rag joint down first, and then we'll try to get the top side in and we'll see how this goes. And yeah, I guess I didn't realize that this was not exactly not a factory OE replacement part, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so I actually got the steering shaft in. It's not completely tightened down yet, but I want to just go over a couple of things. So what I did was, you know, it's got the one long screw on here. If you're using this one, it's got the one long screw and that's the one that you're gonna put through that hole. So I guess that's what you're gonna line up with. You wanna make sure that you're lined up in that direction, but you actually wanna get this one down first and then you can kind of tighten it. The nuts off over here on the side, so you're gonna have to come from kind of underneath your truck or somewhere, you know, get your arm around here to, uh, to tighten that down. And actually, they're just Allens and then you can tighten the screw down to kind of lock it. So I'm not sure what size that Allen is. It's pretty tiny. You probably have it in your toolbox, I'm sure. So that side's all down. I just need to actually snug down that nut and then it'll be good. And then I just gotta start tightening this in here. So I just need to screw that in. It's lined up in that hole. I'll go ahead and screw that in. And then I'll just screw this one down for what it's worth. I took it out for now because I wasn't sure where it was gonna end up and then screw that down. I guess that maybe that helps to hold it too. So it seems pretty secure. That's what I was really worried about and that's really the question I wanna answer. If you're worried about, is this secure? Does it seem fine? Yeah, actually it does. Okay, the job's done. The intermediate steering shaft is in. Uh, so this was the little Allen because there's a, you can thread these, these screws in via an Allen hole at the top. And like I said, I don't know what size the Allen is, but it's very small. Uh, this nut to lock it in is a 12 millimeter. I got this to thread all the way through the shaft and then I locked it really tight. I did the same on the bottom down here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down over here on the side. And so that's all in. I went from underneath the truck to do that. Good thing my truck's lifted. It makes going underneath it very, very easy. So this thing's in place. Uh, is it gonna cure my loose sloppy steering? I don't know, I'm gonna have to take it for a test drive. If it doesn't, I know there's other components. I know it can still be the steering gear itself, the box, and maybe something up in here as well. I don't know, we'll see. So I guess right now, let's uh, let's uh, warm the truck up and uh, take it for a test drive real fast. All right, the truck looks good. It's about warmed up. We're about ready to get going. And uh, yeah, it looks great. Got my new Chevy valve stem caps on there. They look awesome. I did that video, what size are my tires? That link's in the description below. So yeah, we're gonna go take it for a quick spin real fast. I'll know real quick, I don't have to take it for a long drive to know whether or not uh, I fixed the steering. So let's go do that. So I'm out to go for a cruise here and I was about to start checking in, talking about how the truck's doing. So far it's feeling okay, it's a little loose still. But look at that Infinity slammed right there. That thing is uh, what you call stanced, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. You know, I've been driving for a while here and at first I wasn't sure how the truck felt 
At first I thought, well, maybe, maybe it's marginally better, but actually it's a lot better. It feels a lot more responsive and uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I haven't gotten it up on highway speeds, but just driving it around town here for a little bit, it seems like there's a lot less slack. Oh yeah, there's less slack. There's definitely less slack in the system. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so that's great, because I drive on a lot of roads like this with this truck, and loose steering on roads like this with, uh, with a big vehicle, it's just not fun. So the truck feels a lot better. Uh, we're still gonna do more stuff to try to get this thing to handle like a Ferrari, but we've definitely taken a step in the right direction. So let's get back and wrap this video up. Looks like just as good a place as any to wrap this video up. So if you found this video on how to replace your steering intermediate shaft helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to check out the playlist for this truck. It's down in the description below. Thanks for watching.